hello all my beautiful queens and welcome to another video if you are new welcome if you are not new girl welcome back today we are gonna chat about smelling good while fat stay tuned girl you don't want to miss this one yes it's a perfume haul stay tuned girl hello all my beautiful queens welcome thank you so much for clicking on this video thank you so much for showing up for me today you are appreciated don't you know listen thank you so much for being here i'm honored to have you right so listen if you don't know me and this is your first video that you're watching all i ask is to watch at least two videos if within those two videos you decide that we can't be best friends and i get it go in peace girl go in peace now i'm here doing god's work letting all the beautiful plus size queens and straight size queens in the land know that you can have confidence while you're making your changes wait hold on let me make sure girl was a little crooked okay girl don't you know that it is a feat as a plus size girl to get something off the shoulder come through shoulders yes so listen <laughs> i'm doing the lord's work okay trying to help all of my beautiful ladies know that they are beautiful and confident and while you're on your way to greatness you can yes you can yes be happy while you're plus size you don't have to hate yourself to change yourself okay that is my message and i hope that i'm making my message very clear today we're going to be talking about all things feminine and girly and sassy and sexy and pretty and beauty because girl representation matters now i'm pretty sure you let me know down below in the comments if this has been your experience but growing up there always has been a stigma that has gone along um y'all i tried a new foundation and it's got me looking brown but then of course you know it's got that dark shadow so it kind of looks like i didn't blend girl i did blend But I'm different colors, okay? Don't judge me. Okay. <laughs> when I was growing up, there was a stigma that when you're plus size, just like all the other stigmas that there are that come along with being, you know, a, a fat girl living in a not-so-fat world, right? Or not-so-fat-accepting world. Um, there was always this stigma about body odor. You know, um, I have been accused when I was younger of having a body odor when I knew that I didn't. I went home and I told my mom, I said, mom, they're trying to say that fat girls smell. And my mom said, Joy, if that's what they think, make them a liar. That's what my mom used to always say. If that's what they think, if that's what they say, make them out to be a liar. Don't make them out to be true, right? So what I started doing was that's when I fell in love with perfume and fragrances. Now, listen, back in the day, I didn't have much to choose from. Back in the day, I wore one of my first fragrances. So let me know down below in the comments when you were a little girl, what was one of your very first fragrances? My very first fragrance was called Little Black Dress. And it was a fragrance by Avon. My mama was the Avon lady. Shout out to the Avon ladies around the world um but my mom was the avon lady right so one of my very first fragrances was called little black dress and it didn't even have like an emitter or something that you pump it was just where you just pour it out the liquid came out you did boop 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 and that was it that was my very first fragrance girl i might have been in kindergarten who knows right okay after that fragrance the next thing that I got that I was addicted to was called Adrenaline by Adidas. Adrenaline by Adidas probably was my signature scent all the way through high school, girl. It got me through it, okay? <laughs> it got me through it. Um, so let me know down below, what was one of your favorite and your very first fragrances? And let me know, did you have a favorite fragrance that got you through high school? Um, mine was Adrenaline by Adidas. And like I said, my very first fragrance was called Little Black Dress by Avon, right? Shout out to all the Avon ladies of the world. Okay, 
Today, I wanted to talk to you some of, about some of my more mature fragrances that I've gotten to as grown up joy, right? That I absolutely love and that I get the most compliments. Now, these are not all of my fragrances because, girl, I have quite a few. Um, when Bay, I had Bay looking all over the place. I was like, Bay, look at my suitcase. Bay, look in the bathroom. <laughs> Bay, because of course, they're different places. Girl, go look in the car. I got a couple in the car. Girl, listen, you know how that is. But I want to talk, I'm going to kind of go from like the fragrances that I bought multiple times to some of the fragrances that I'm just now being introduced to, okay? Let me know down below if you recognize any of them and if you have show up to the premiere. What's up, premiere squad? Listen, I very rarely ask you guys to subscribe because I just... I don't want to coerce you. I want you to be here because you want to be here and because you feel comfortable and because you can relate to me. But if you like my content and you would like to co contribute and be a part of the Premiere Squad, all you have to do is just like this video and make sure that you're here when I do my premieres and subscribe. Put your notification bell on. I premiere my videos twice a week at minimum. And I try to give you beauty videos and vlogs and <sighs> Even though I'm PTSD'd from try on hauls, I'm still doing try on hauls, girl. Um, I might have just gotten a package today. Anyway, one of my very early on fragrances that I've actually purchased multiple, multiple times is Juicy Couture. I love Juicy Couture. Um, I don't know, but for some reason, the one that you get from Ross or the Marshalls or TJ Maxx, that one stinks. I don't know why, but back in the day when I really couldn't afford a full bottle of uh, Juicy Couture, I would just buy tester bottles. So a great tip is that if you want to get the authentic perfume, but you may not be able to afford it, but you don't care how the bottle looks, buy a tester bottle. You can get a tester bottle on eBay or even I believe Amazon. It may not have the top to it, and it may just come like this without all the pretty stuff, but it's still the same perfume, okay? I really, really like anything by Juicy Couture. Typically, my favorite is Viva La Juicy. This is actually Bodacious, which is one of the new ones, but anything, this one to me is very fun. It's very youthful. It's very fruity. Um, so if you are a fruity person, but you don't like that candy smell, see, like, I don't like that candy imitation smell that gives you a headache but i do like something very light and very fruity this to me would be good for a day date i actually wore this when i met bay so shot well i wore viva la juicy when i met bay so this is one of my very favorite fragrances okay something that i get a lot of compliments on um is i love dior um, I'm a big, big Dior fan, but this is one of my absolute favorites by Dior. This is the Rose in Roses, okay? This one, y'all, I'm sorry, I can't help myself. This is one of my favorite scents. Um, it has a little bit of a spice to it. Um, I typically don't like spicy, but it has floral. So I'm very much so a fruity, Floral, almondy, coffee scent, vanilla, base, or even peach. Um, I really like fruity, fruity and floral. This is very much so rose with spice, right? It's not woody. It's not earthy. It's not masculine. It's a very feminine scent, and it's one of my absolute favorites. As you can see, this is my third bottle. I'm a heavy sprayer. The only issue that I have with this particular fragrance, which is again, Miss Dior Rose and Roses. The only issue that I have with this young lady is that I feel like it does not last. I have to spray and spray. Hold on y'all. Okay, where I'm uneven. I have to spray and spray and spray and spray and spray. Literally, sometimes I find myself spraying five times you know what i'm saying like throughout the day it just doesn't last right so if i were to say anything i say um dior y'all need to work on that right but that could be the all day toilet versus the perfume so the difference between an all day toilet even though i'm saying it wrong and a perfume is one is oil based and one is not typically your oil base is going to last a little bit longer speaking of oil based 
Um, hold on, girl. I got everything right here. So here we go with the Miss Dior fragrance. This one is different from the Rose and Roses. <sighs> I love Rose and Roses. If I were you, I would keep Rose and Roses in your pocketbook and just spray it because in the beginning, it smells good. Um, this is just the regular auto perfume. Uh, this is not Rose and Roses, but this is also a Dior fragrance. Oh, I love it. This one is strong. So this is more of a mature fragrance. This gives me like an orange undertone. Very much so orange blossom. Mm, my goodness. Very much so fall. So I would say this is the fall. This is the summer, but I love them both. There also is a Dior fragrance called Banquet. I'll put it down below. Banquet something. I think if um I was going to get another Dior fragrance, that would be the fragrance. I like to keep my boxes. That's just me. Um, Don't judge me. Okay, next. Let me make sure I do the ones I've done already. Let me put them to the side so I don't be telling them again. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so my next fragrance is going to be Mon Paris. It's the Yves Saint Laurent. I really tried to do Libre. I tried to do two. Oh, well, I'll tell you that later. Um, At the end, I'm going to tell you three fragrances that I had to take back that smelled okay in the store. But when I got them home, girl, they did not work and I had to take them back. And as you know, Libre is going to be one of them since I told them myself. Anyway, Yves Saint Laurent, Auto Perfume, All Day Perfume. Tell me how to pronounce it, y'all. Um, This one is just the regular. This is how it looks. This is another one that I purchased several times. This is the smaller one. This is my second one of these. This one's very fruity. I would say more grapefruit. Oh, oh, love this. And this is the one that I put on and I get the most compliments out of this. Second to that Dior Rose and Roses, when I very first put that one on, I get so many compliments um, off of this. This is the regular um, Mon Paris. And then I also have the, I think there's a Mom Paris Intense and there's also a Mom Paris Couture. So here is the Yves Saint Laurent Mom Paris Couture. Let me see. This one is newer. I haven't used it as much, but I do like it. It's new though. Mm, my goodness. I love this. This is the, again, um, this is the 1.6. And this one is the one ounce. This one is the one ounce, because I wasn't sure about it. This is the 1.6. 1. 1. Um, Yves Saint Laurent Couture. I get a lot of compliments um, on that one versus the other one. I get compliments on that one too, but this Couture, I really get a lot of compliments. Okay, we're doing good, girl. We're doing good. Okay, let's go to something that... This is Auto Perfume. This is a 50 ml or a 1.6 ounce. This is Burberry Her. This one... I wore this to bed. Um, This is my second bottle of this. I do like it. But to be honest, I don't wear it out. I typically wear this to bed or I spray the sheets with it or I spray the pillows with it um, or I just put one or two sprays on my neck before I go to bed after I take my shower. This to me, if you like light scents, this is a very light scent. To me, this smells like soap or like body wash, something where you want your skin to just have a pleasant smell this does it it's very nice i like it but would it is it my signature scent no have i ever got a compliment bay likes it 
like when I wear it to bed, but he's just probably used to smelling it on the pillows and like as a room spray. I know that's weird, but that's what I do. Burberry her. I don't, as you can see, I don't use it that much. Okay, so that's Burberry her. Um. Okay, another one of my favorites. Oh, I love this one. And I've showed you guys this one before. This is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. This one to me is very, very, very grown woman. This is Boss Lady. This is, I'm getting this job interview. I'm gonna take all y'all coins. Y'all gonna give me benefits, okay? I love it. It's a very simple bottle. Not very like, this is new too. Um, Because before, I'm gonna be real. I didn't want to pay for the big one so i was buying the samples and i've literally not the sample but I, the travel size i've bought the travel size so many times i was like girl just get a regular bottle stop being cheap so there you go um don't say go on the only one very much so grown woman very much so elegant very much so uh pay me uh where are my benefits so we love that one. That one's that one is a I would buy again, okay? And I would keep buying because I love that one. Okay, now I have another Lancome fragrance that I really, really like. Um, I'm gonna also try to put that one down below or put a picture. Cause I could not find it to save my life. I think it's the Il Cot. Is it I L C O T E? I don't know, girl. Um, this one is the La Vie Estebelle. La Vie es Belle. I like this. This one smells very good. You know what I'm noticing about these tops? I feel like they tops is all made by the same company. Let me see how this one smells. See, now this happens to me a lot. When I'm in the... Now this one I cannot say is my favorite. Because the Il Cote or whatever... The other Lancome fragrance is my favorite. The real small, skinny, thin one. I don't know what it's called, but it's real thin. It's shaped like this, but it's super thin. That one is my favorite. I just purchased this one. I can't say this is my favorite. I don't like it. And I'm scared that if I put it on, I'm not going to like it. So this one, I thought I liked it, but I don't know. If you guys have smelled this, I'm going to keep it because sometimes I'm weird. One minute I like something, the next minute I don't. Um, so <laughs> perfumes do's and don't for me, I don't know that this one is worth the money. Um, I'm going to keep it though, because I'm going to actually spray it on my body because that's one thing with me. Like I'll smell a perfume and then for whatever reason, I'll get it home and be like, mm, I don't like that. And that's what just happened with that. I did like it when I smelled it a month ago, but now <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, so the next one is Coach. This is an Ada perfume. Let me see about this one. Dang, I can't believe I don't like that, but I don't. I don't like it. It's thanks to me. Oh, I like this bottle. This is cute. Oh, I love this bottle. This cute. Oh, I love this. This is very much so... yeah love this this is coach very simple very affordable this is one fluid ounce it doesn't have like a top the top just sprays it comes with this clear stopper this one is very much so every day this is something that i would wear every day this is something that um i would also travel with because of the bottle i really really like the bottle i really really like this one and it's simple it's coach it's not like i don't feel like if somebody asks me what are you wearing oh i'm wearing coach like i don't feel like i'm trying to be boozy you know what i'm saying sometimes they ask you oh what are you wearing oh i'm wearing dosa and gabbana they be like you know what i'm saying not that it matters but you know let me know down below if you have any of these perfumes that I'm sharing with you. Um, One of these, actually two of these perfumes I purchased because of you guys. So thank you so much for that. Um, We're almost done, girl. We have three more. 
cents and we will be done. Okay, I'm gonna save that one for last. Okay, these next two are by Victor and Rolf. Um, the first one is, can you guess what it is? You already guessed, I'm sure. I purchased these because of you guys. This one is called Flower Bomb. You know I love, absolutely love me a floral fragrance, girl. You guys know me so well. I love a floral fragrance. Oh, I like this a lot. Why do I blow on it? I really like that, you guys. This is very flor floral. Um, and like it says, flower bomb is exactly that. It's so pretty and so feminine. And I don't know if you guys know this about me yet, but I'm super girly. I know I may come off a little bit harsh at times. But that's because I've had to be, not because I necessarily want to be, but I've just had to be a little bit harsh so that people don't walk all over me. You know what I'm saying? But in my heart of hearts, and those people who know me know that I'm a very sweet and kind person, and I'm very feminine, and I like girly things. And I think that from time to time, when you are a dark skinned plus size woman, sometimes people tend to, you know, they dehumanize you a little bit, you know? And so for me, fragrances is like, just like my nails and my hair and just other things. It's a way for me to feel feminine and girly and sexy, you know? It's like that period at the end of a sentence or it's like when you dot your eyes and, you know, cross your T's, it's like that thing that just takes your outfit or takes your look to the next level. It's like, oh, she smell good. You know what I mean? And I know that some people are like surprised by that. Like when I walk by and they're like, oh, she's damn, she smell good. It's like almost like, yeah, you know, you may have been talking shit about me, but you smell me and I smell good. Oh, oh, excuse me. And I smell pretty like a girl. Okay. Two more, y'all. Now, this one is also by Victor and Roll. Wait, let me get my ear. Let me get my pose on. Y'all, do y'all like this hair? This is very new for me. This is actually clip-ons, clip-on hair that I did something new. So shout out to Curls and Curls. Hopefully this video will be out. If so, I'll link it right here. And you guys let me know what you think. I tried something a little bit different. I'm doing all kinds of stuff for you guys, stepping outside of my comfort zone. But anyway, this one, I love the shape. Hold on. I, w I tried to do oldest to newest, like I tried to do those that I have purchased a lot first and those that I just purchased last. Um, so this is Bonbon by Victor and Rolf. I think there's another kind of Bonbon, but I didn't like it very much. Um, I like this. It's almost su too sweet. It's almost to where if you were in high school, you would wear this and it might be a little bit too sweet. So you kind of have to spray it low. So that way it kind of comes up and doesn't give you a headache. If I overspray this, this will give me a headache. But I still would wear it and I love, I love this bottle, girl. Is it not cute? I love this bottle girl I'm trying to get the thumbnail don't judge me okay I love this <laughs> I love the bottle I love the way it smells um but it can have that candy smell a little bit just a little bit not too much but a little bit okay so this one, I'm gonna call it the MVP. The reason why I'm gonna call it the MVP is because um, one of the perfumes that is very popular by Marc Jacobs, I really did not like. I absolutely hated it and I felt like it stunk and it gave me a headache. Matter of fact, two of them. And I tried it twice 
which I'm going to talk about during the next segment. I tried it twice because everybody kept telling me, oh, this smells so good. Oh, this smells so good. And I was like, oh, yes, I really want to try that. But girl, no. It did not smell good at all. I hated it. So it made me not want to try any other Marc Jacobs fragrance. But this one, oh my God, I love it. I also was told that there is a perfect, this is called Perfect by Marc Jacobs. Of course, everybody has it, everybody and their mama. Look at this bottle. Marc Jacobs is known for its beautiful tops. That Daisy perfume, I guess it just messed me up. I really wanted to like Daisy, but I just couldn't get into it. But this, I love. The only problem is, I may or may not be a little allergic to it. When I say allergic to it, it makes me sneeze. So it's another one that I have to be really careful for and wear it like at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Because it makes me sneeze. When I put it on, it's like, hachu, hachu, hachu. Like it makes my eyes water. So I'm gonna have to spray it down below at the bottom. So this is perfect by Marc Jacobs. It's absolutely gorgeous. It surprised me um, when you guys were like, you gotta get this, you gotta get this. Oh, I love it. I was like, no, I don't really like that. I don't think this will be for me, but this definitely, if you guys want to know, my new signature scent is Perfect by Marc Jacobs. If you want to know what it smells like me and what is something that I absolutely get the most compliments on, since I've been wearing this, I literally have people stop me and come chase after me and be like, hey, what fragrance are you wearing? And I'm like, oh, it's Marc Jacobs. I have to think about it, first of all. And I'm like, oh, it's perfect by Marc Jacobs. I absolutely love this fragrance. And I think that if you want it to smell good and feel very feminine and sexy, you definitely want to try that because that is my favorite. Okay, really quick, I want to go over some oh, perfume mishaps, girl. Perfumes that I ordered that I really, 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 really thought that I was going to like. But girl, I did not. Okay, so let's get into those real quick. Girl, let's get the shine first of all. Okay, so whoever recommended this Marc Jacobs, this is definitely a winner. So we're doing Marc Jacobs. And I didn't really like, I didn't like the YSL, y'all. I just didn't like it. And I already have the Mom Perry. I don't like the Mom Perry Intense. I got the Valentino. So we'll see about that. And let's see about this Dior. So y'all, I'll let y'all know what we get in the car. Perfume misses, okay? The number one perfume miss for me was that Valentino Donna. Now I'm sorry, but I'm gonna be honest with y'all, okay? Let's just keep it all the way real. I really, really wanted to like Valentino Donna because I felt like it was a popular fragrance, right? So I'm like, this is popular. I love the bottle. I love Valentino. Let me go see if I like it. Girl, I hated it. I sprayed it on in the store. I thought it smelled good. I bought it, brought it home, then sprayed it again when I got home and was like, I don't like this. Then I went back to the store and I was going to get the, that was the pink one. Then someone said, hey, did you try the yellow one? Girl, tell me why I brought the yellow one again and still didn't spray it on myself. I sprayed it on one of them little white things. It was like, I hated it when I got home. So I went and took it back. And I'm probably going to end up replacing it with Dose and Gabbana Rose. Roses, I think it's called. I think, yeah. Dose and Gabbana Rose. But anyway, that was definitely a miss for me. I did not like that Valentino. I threw it in the trash, didn't like it. I already told you guys, I didn't like Daisy. Daisy almost kept me away from my beautiful perfect because I didn't like Daisy. And I was like, well, maybe it's that. Oh, I just sprayed it by accident. I was like, maybe if I don't like Daisy, 
that I'm definitely not going to like anything else by Marc Jacobs. But that's not necessarily true. If you don't like one perfume, that doesn't mean that you're not going to like another perfume by the same designer. So I would definitely recommend Perfect by um, Marc Jacobs, but not Daisy. Um, so if there's a, a brand that you like, but you don't like one perfume, don't forget to step outside of your comfort zone and try another one. The next perfume that I did not like, but I wanted to so bad because I love the bottle, was that y, um, that YSL Libre. For whatever reason, I know a lot of people who get a lot of compliments when they're wearing it, and when I smell it on other people, I love it. But when I tried it on myself, girl, I hated it. I did not like it. I don't know why I didn't like it, but I didn't like it, okay? Hated it. Okay, the um, so no, I was about to say no Libre, girl, no Libre. I didn't like that one. Now, the very last fragrance that I was just not, I was like, other than Daisy, other than Libre, other than Valentino, that I was like, mm-mm, that's thing to me, was that Carolina Herrera shoe perfume, okay? The newest one, the red shoe, did not like that at all. It's very woody. It's very spicy. And to me, it's not sexy. It's very, um, it's very masculine. And I guess I'm just turned off by masculine fragrances. I love feminine. I love things that smell good. And I love things that are floral, but like very, um, grown woman floral. You know what I'm saying? Those are my type of fragrances that I love. But listen, I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Listen, go forth and be great. Be feminine, girl. Put a period at the end of your sentence. Cross your T's and dot your I's and wear your perfume, right? Smell good. Look good, girl. Feel feminine. It doesn't matter how plus size you are or how you look. You can have confidence. And what better way than to feel confident than to smell good? Well, I love my smell good, as you can see. And anybody who has met me in person, it is one thing you'll remember me by. It will be my smell. So listen, if you like this video, make sure you let me know down below in the comments what are your favorite perfumes. And don't forget to answer the question of the day. What was one of your first perfumes early on, if you can remember? What is one perfume that you buy over and over and over again? Um, what's your signature scent? So my signature scent now is Perfect by Marc Jacobs. None of these items were sponsored. Um, I purchased them all with my own coin. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you guys. And remember, beauty is a state of mind, not body. My mind is stuck on gorgeous. What are you thinking? I want to know. Definitely let me know what type of video would you like to see from me next. And thank you so much for watching, girl. Go forth and be beautiful in your ministry, girl. Period. I love you. Bye.